So this is video uh, number one for chapter nine. It goes with section 9.1 in your book, if you're looking at the books. And in this section, we're gonna find surface areas. So there's a lot of vocab to go through. I'm gonna go kind of quickly to make sure we have time for the examples. So pause if you need to while we're filling this in, okay? So fill in please that in this section, we are finding the surface area of rectangular prisms and triangular prisms. And I want you to be listening as we explain this because there's a lot to go over as we kind of look at the vocab and the pictures together, okay? So a rectangular prism is just your basic box shape. Cereal box, shoe box, Kleenex box. It's 3D. It has a rectangle for the base, right? And then it's three-dimensional. So you could label your picture here with me. It has a top and a bottom. Those are always going to match. A front and a back and a left and a right, okay? That's your rectangular prism. So pause here anytime you need to slow down or catch up. Triangular prism, here's your triangular prism, okay? It's another 3D figure or 3D shape that has a triangle for the base. So here I've shown that this is the base, I put a B there, it has a triangle on each end. Now these triangles have to match, and then it has some rectangles around the sides. So if you want to label that your triangular prism, okay? And then cube. And we've seen cubes before. Here's my example of a cube down here that is squares on each side. So it has a square for the base, squares on each side. Okay, there's your cube. And all these squares, if it's technically a cube, all these squares have to all be the same. All right. So let's talk about dimensions. Well, dimensions are basically the side lengths. Okay. If I give you, let's say, dimensions for this rectangular prism, it might be written like this. We use X's a lot of times to put between the dimensions, but I would read this as two by three by five, right? Maybe two inches by three inches by five inches, and this would be the length, the width, and the height. So just recognize that dimensions here mean we're telling you how long the sides are, okay? Surface area. Put a box or a star around this one. Surface area. This whole section is about finding surface area. And that is the total area of all the faces. Right? So we should probably talk about what faces are. Faces are all the different flat surfaces of a 3D figure. Okay? So back up here to our example of the rectangular prism. If I find the area of the top and the bottom, the front and the back, the left and the right, and add those up, I'll have the surface area. Or here for my triangular prism, if I find the area of the triangle bases plus the rectangles around the sides and add that up, I'll have the surface area of my triangular prism, okay? So we're looking at all the different flat surfaces, finding those areas, and adding them up, okay? All right, so let's take a minute to talk about just a couple more vocab words. The bases are, it could be on the bottom, but it doesn't have to be. It's the base shape of your 3D figure, right? So a triangle here, if it's a triangular prism, being able to recognize where the bases are. Lateral faces are just the faces around the sides. So here, if I'm looking at my triangular prism, it's these rectangles that kind of go around the sides, the bottom here and the right and the left side, okay? Or on my cube, the sides of this Kleenex box would be my um, lateral faces. So if you come across a question that says find the lateral surface area, that means the area of the lateral faces added together, okay? It just doesn't include the bases. So the lateral surface area is just adding up the lateral faces. Okay, so I know that was quick. Go back if you need to rewind or still fill anything in, all right? Here's our big idea for finding the surface area, okay? Always count how many faces you have total, right? Think about what the shape is. If it's a rectangular prism or like this cube, right? A front, a back, a left, a right, a top, and a bottom. Okay, six faces. So I'm going to have to find six areas and add them up, All right? Find each of those face areas. Make a list, you know, check to make sure that you have them all. If it has six faces, make sure you have six numbers to add up and then add them up to get your total surface area. Okay. And then label it, unit squared, inches squared, feet squared. Put your label on there if you need, if you have one, okay? Okay, so let's quickly go through these examples at the bottom here. Rectangular prisms. I know front and back, right, left, top, bottom. I know our box shapes have six faces. So we're going to find those six areas to add them up. If you want a color code, you could. 
So here I have, let's look at this green side, right? That's 10 by three, so the area of this green side is 30 square inches. Well, I know I have another 30 that I can't see over here on the left. All right, let's look at the orange side in the front. This is nine by three. Nine by three, the area of that rectangle would be 27. Well, I have another back side that matches, another 27 back there that I can't see. And then the top, well, the top is nine by 10, so 90. And a bottom that I can't see is another 90, okay? So when you have the picture, just label all the faces in the picture. You should have a top and a bottom that match, a right and a left that match, a front and a back that match. Now I'm gonna add up those six numbers. You could just type them in and I get 294, we're talking about square inches here, okay? All right, onto our cube. Pause anytime you need to catch up. Well, with a cube, I can just look at this front side, right? This front face is a square that's eight by eight. Okay, well, I know the area of that square is going to be 64 square centimeters. And in a cube, all six of those faces are the same. So I can simply multiply it by six because there's six of them that are all identical. And here I get 384 centimeters squared. You can check me on your calculator if you want. All right, I'll do one more quick. Let's look at the bottom side here, three by five. So that would be 15, and the top is going to match. Let's look at the front, 6 by 3. Well, that would be 18, and I have the back side that also matches. And then let's look at the right and the left. This would be, what, 5 by 6. So that green side there would be 30, and another 30 on the left that I can't really see. Make sure I have six numbers to add up. Add those in your calculator quick. I get 126 inches squared, okay? So rectangular prisms are just finding areas of squares and rectangles and adding them up. Okay, so make sure you have those filled in because now you're gonna turn it over and do the practice problems on the back. So these right up here, whoop, there you go. So try these and then pause when you're ready to check those. Okay, so I've shown top and a bottom, front and a back, left and a right. Add them up and get the total for each of these. So pause if you need to kind of go back and check or fix any of those. Then we're going to move on. Okay, so come up with a formula we could use to find the surface area for any box shape, any rectangular prism. Okay, so... Um, if you look at mine, I kind of color-coded my picture here. I have an, um, let's start with the front and the back, orange here. So the area of the front and the back would be the length times the height. So I have two of those that are length times height. The green side, the left and the right, I have two of these that are the width times the height. And then the top and the bottom, the pink sides here, length times width to find the area of the top and the bottom. Okay, so if I add those together, and a kind of a shortcut way of saying I have two of each of those, right, I have a front and a back, a left and a right, a top and a bottom, or I can just find one of those and then double it, okay? So this is a lot of times what you'll see as the formula, and we can use that as a shortcut to help us if we don't have a picture, really, okay? So this is what I call a crown. When I say use your crown, this is what I'm talking about, because it looks like a crown to me, okay? So, if I want to find the surface area of a rectangular prism with no picture, but I know the length and the width and the height, well, I know there's going to be two of these, I know there's going to be two of these, and I know there's going to be two of these. So if I find those and add them up, I'll get my surface area, okay? So, 3 times 5, 3 times 8, 5 times 8. And then I would add up 15 plus 15 plus 24 plus 24 plus 40 plus 40. And I get a total there, 158 units squared. Okay, I'll do one more. I know I'm going to have two of these, two of these, and two of these. So 4 times 6, 24. Uh, 4 times 7, 
28. 6 times 7, 42. So then I would add those up and double it, or just add them each twice. And here I get, check me, type it in, but I get 188 units squared. So I want you to try the shortcut here, right? Show your little upside down crown and see what you get for these surface areas really quick on these. Pause and then check when you're ready. Okay, so there's your um, answers here. Let's talk about our triangular prisms real quick, okay? There's a few hints here I want you to write down first. Okay, so let's remember area of a triangle. Area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. Let's get that on your paper because we're gonna need that. And then a couple other things. If we remember that the base and the height for our triangles always have to be perpendicular. So that's gonna be important as we're finding the area of our triangles. And then the last little hint here is that for our triangular prisms, right? Looking at these pictures, it has a triangle on each side, each base and then three rectangles around. So there, a triangular prism has five faces total, okay? So we're gonna do these examples together now on the bottom of this page. So here's a clean copy for us to work on. Remember, it has five faces. So I like to write down that it has two triangles, and those are gonna match, and then it has three rectangles for each of my triangular prisms, and that's my list that I'm gonna add up, okay? So looking at my triangles first, we got to make sure we find a base and a height that are perpendicular. So looking at my triangular base, this would be 8 times 6, base times height, whoops, base times height, divided by 2. So I get that this triangle is an area of 24. And I know this triangle has to match. So 24 plus 24, those two triangles are my bases. And then I have a rectangle here that is... 10 by 7, so 10 by 7 is 70. I have another rectangle on the back side here that is 6 by 7. Can't really see it, that pink side. 6 times 7 is 42. And then let's come over here. On the back side, I have 8, right? 8 by 7. So 8 by 7 is 56. So there's my five sides, add them up here, and I got 216 square inches. I'm going to do one more example real quick. All right, let's look at our triangle first. So here's my base and my height of my triangle. So this is 8 times 6, 8 times 6 divided by 2 again. Actually, this triangle also comes out to 24, and 24 back here for that triangle. So I'm going to make my list. My two triangles are 24 and 24. Okay. Let's look at this side here, 12 by 6. So I have a rectangle that is 12 by 6, or 72. Uh, let's do a pink one for the bottom. Can't really see it, but I have this bottom rectangle that's 10 by 12. 10 by 12 is 120. And then I'll do a blue one here for this back side, 8 by 12. So my last rectangular side there is 96. All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, let's add those up. And I get a total here of 336, should be centimeters squared. Okay, so there are Three more examples for you to do on the top of the next page. So you need to actually finish these, work them out, okay? And then when you're done and you have these answers, hit play again and we'll go over those answers. Okay, so this is the top of the next page. Let's check one by one. I found this triangle, right? Here's my area for the triangle. They're each six. And then I found each of the three rectangles, added them up and got a total, okay? And then here's my other two. Take some time to really go over this if you need to. I showed the triangle area here, and then each of the rectangles, and I made sure I had five numbers to add up. Okay? So, there's your basic video on uh, surface area of prisms.